iPhone 6 here with no power. All right, first thing I always do is I plug it into my Porta Pal here. Um, I actually don't use this Porta Pal anymore because the stupid backlight doesn't stay on. Uh, I just use the LED ones now that uh, are, are, are colored, have colored LEDs. So, okay, so you're looking at zero amp draw for the most part. All right, can you even see that? Yeah, Let's see. So let's turn it on. It's a little bit blurry, but I'm getting zero amp draw, okay? So that's the first thing I do. See if it's drawing any power from the lightning cable, okay? And that's a negative. So um, part two is part two is sticking a battery in here. A known good charged battery. Known good charged battery and seeing if it powers up or not. Well, this one's not... actually, it's not even connected. No! Uh, I can't even see it, but this is supposed to really power it on, but it's not powering on right now. This battery might be dead. So let me grab this right here. we have another success anywhere or no? All right. Let me see if I can find another 6S battery here real quick. There you go. All right. So I was going to try to avoid using my uh, DC power supply because you can't really see it. So. Well, this doesn't work either. Let's see if plugging it in here does anything. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So it works fine with a good known battery. All right. It works fine. It's going to boot up fine because I've already tested it. See if I can not have a crotch shot here. Okay, so it's gonna work. All right, it's gonna boot up, no problems. All right, so I know that it is probably gonna be charge port related or um, TriStar. All right, so let's rule out the, let's rule out the charge port, and, and you know you kind of have to do all this because sometimes it's a charge port, and you really don't want to disassemble and reassemble the um, logic board unless you absolutely have to. Okay, so let's do the same thing again. Um, I got my own charge port in there now. And I'm gonna plug it into this porta pal lightning cable, and let's see if we get any amp draw um, on my. And look at that! I was not expecting this actually. Oh, hold on a second. Okay, so it's not getting anything actually. That's weird. It was drawing something. It's drawn a little bit. 0.35. So iTunes recognizes it, but it doesn't really charge at the correct amperage. Um, it should be should be closer to one amp, but it's, it's going at 0.9 amp, 0 0.09 amps. Well, now it's it's all right. Weird. 0.55. This this. Is not quite calibrated correctly, so you know what? I'm gonna plug it in my other char charging, uh, my mother ammeter here. Okay, you know what? This is at 0.86 now. Weird. So this is actually charging okay. Hmm. So maybe this is not a charge port. Maybe this is not a charging problem. Let's let's um disconnect my charge port again and let's reconnect his. And let's take a look to see if maybe let's see if we're getting the same thing again. Sure enough, it's at 0.95 now. Weird. Definitely wasn't doing this earlier. Okay, so this is charging fine actually. Um, maybe the charge port just wasn't plugged in correctly. I guess that's possible. It's definitely yep. It's going. And it's charging fine. So, anyways, this is a charging problem. So we're gonna avoid the whole. We're gonna avoid it all. Avoid TriStar. I was pretty close to replacing TriStar already. And chalk this up as a bad. Hold on. Let's plug his battery back in. I'm gonna unplug my battery and let's see. If, maybe it was just the charge port that was jacked up. So I'm gonna unplug everything and plug his. Battery back in, which is aftermarket battery. 
And let's plug it back in. Let's see if we get it. Negative. Hmm. So nothing with his nothing with his battery. And let's do the same thing with my battery. And booyah. Alright, he's got a bad battery. So that's a simple one. I think we just call it a day here. Uh not not a bad charge port, just bad battery. So I'm gonna test everything and, and I think we're good to go. Alright, call it a day, bye.